Welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time here. Yeah? So in this video of today, we will be teaching how you can set up a MetaTrader 5 on your laptops, either be it a Mac OS or Windows OS. So I will just show you how to set it up so you can also have a great experience while trading your laptop. So I want you to follow me step by step the way I'm doing mine. So the first thing you do, you open your browser, you can go to Google, you type MetaTrader 5. That there are five download. So Google will lead you to the link or the place where you can, where are going to download it. The network is a, li a little bit slow over here, so that's why it's loading like that. So just wait for it to load. So you can see it has given you place to download it. So you come to the link over here. You can see metatrader5.com. So this is the link where you are going to download. Just click on the link over here. So to take you to metatrader5 website. So now this is the website you are going to download it. So you can see download that file for PC and open the demo account demo account. So you just scroll down here. If you like you can read the instructions, but you don't really need it. What you just need to, to do is you go up here for Windows. For Windows, you come down here. Sorry. So you go up because that's the first link over there. So for PC, you click on download MetaTrader 5 account. So you click on download. So the moment you click on download, it will start it will start downloading the offline installer. So it's because I'm using IDN. So after you finish download this, after you click on the link, this will give you. So let me check my downloaded folder. My download folder, sorry. So you'll be giving something like this. Something like this. There is five setup. So after you finish download that, downloading that, then you now launch this particular one here. This this is the offline. This, this is the installer here. What you did earlier was you downloaded the installer. So it's the installer that will now install the MT5 for you. So once you click on install, once you double click it, mm -hmm. it will run. It will run the setup. So you just wait for it to install. So it will launch the setup for you. So this for Windows. So you just click on yes, then you allow it to finish the remaining steps. But for the sake of time, I will just I will pause the video while installing. You click on next. So these are the normal steps. You just click on next. Then you are you allow the software to install by itself. So it's already installing it. So once it's finished installing, once it's finished installing, you will open it. So after I finish installing it, it will open some, something like this or something like this. So what you need to do now, but you won't have this chart there. 
but this is what you do if you want to log in you come under you can see we have the menu we have the menu here these are the menu we have the file view insert chat tools windows help so these are the menus so if you want to log in your account you by default at times this navigator might not be there so you want to see the navigator come under view so you check the box you can come under the two bars uh, i'm sorry so this is the navigator here control n so it's only the navigator you are going to see the place to log in your account so once you just click on the navigator or you click control n it will act it will bring the navigator down here for you then you can now add account so you click on account there you can see we have accounts there so you click on the account you right click on it you see open an account log into trade account log into web trader so all you do what you need to do is create an account because you already have the account you also want to log in on the meta trader 5 um system pc version so you need to do log click on login to trade account so it will ask for your id that is your, your login and the password in which you are using for your um, which you are using for your for your broker signing i mean so you click on the login so it will ask Sorry, it's because my account is already there. So I want to do something that you, you are going to log in any broker account. Come in. So we click on open an account. So what's the name of your broker? You selected there. Mine is Deriv. So that's why it's showing Deriv. So you type the name of your broker here. Any broker, just type it here. Then you click on find broker. It will list it out for you. For example, let me search. Um, let me search out forex, or let me search FBS. So in any broker you are using, just type the name there. Once you type the name there, it will hope it will list the the broker name here. Then you click on it like this. For example, I'm using Deriv as my broker, so you click on Deriv, then you click on Next. So once you click on Next. Then it will ask you connect with an existing. This is you. This is the option you use for an existing account. So if you are just to create another account. You, you can use this option to create it. But if you want to log into your existing account, you put your um, you put your login ID here and you put your password there. Then you select if it is demo or um, if it is demo or the real account. You do it on another server. So that's how you do it. Then you click on finish. Immediately you click on finish. It will load the chart here. This section here is the chart. This section here is the chart. This is the chart. So you can see under the market watch now. This is where you see the asset that you want to trade. So you can see all the asset I have here. I have volatility. I have boom and crash. I have. So these are the assets I I can trade over here. So for example, the some of the assets might not be showing. What you need to do is just to you scroll down. Then you come here like this, you click on add. Then you just put the name of the particular asset that you are, that you are trying to trade, which is not added. Then you click on the name. For example, I want to add, let me say I want to add um jump. You can see it will list all the jump I have there. Then you just insert it. You click on it, it will add it to it. Click on enter. So this is how you add the um the asset that you want to watch, that you want to watch or you want to trade. So once you just click on it, then if you want to open the chart for that particular asset, you just need to just to double click on it. Once you double click on it, it will open this box here. So you can see this if you want to place another, just click on it, you place the other. But if you want to watch, you want to look at the chart, you will just hold it and drag it to your chart here to market your chart. Here. So it will load the chart of that particular asset for you. So can you see it now? So this is how you open your MT5 account on your system. You put the ID, then you you select, you put all the um, assets you want to trade. Then under the navigator navigator menu here, you can see we have indicators. We have tra so under if you want to mix up an indicator, you can simply add it under your navigator here. So you see it under navigator. You just scroll down to the indicator here, you select and you do your settings. So that's for indicators. So if you want to make use of 
the basic um the chart um the tools i mean the trend line the horizontal line the diag the vertical line so these are these are the ones we have here so you can see we have the trend line over here we have the horizontal line over here and we have the vertical line over here and we have the cross air which is to calculate your pips you can use this one to calculate your pips and you have the zoom levels here so this this is where you have as a studio zone but if you want to make use of uh, you want to make use of shapes the basic shapes you come under insert object then you can see you click on shapes so you want to make use of a rectangle for example so these are you navigate through you come you go to insert menu under the objects then you see your shapes then you click on the shapes you want to use you want to use for example you want to use this rectangle to make to draw to analyze the market but I'll just, I'll just click on it then i'll draw so this is how i will do it then if you want to customize your chart i mean the color of the chart you can zoom in you can zoom in to see the market very well so you want to customize in my own case now i'm using red and blue so if you want to customize this chart now maybe to red and green or something something or some some other colors what i'll just do i'll right click on the chart like this so you see we have uh, i have all the options here so you can come here under properties click on properties so you can see that we have colors we have common so you just click on colors and you can now you can tweak the settings the way you want it here so you just change the colors and you see it will have it will automatically be you have you have the preview here so you want to just select the colors there it will it will put them on your chart the way you the way you selected it so that's for um that's for colors and if you want to change your chart maybe you don't want to mix of candlesticks you want to mix of bar chart you can also do that on that common and you can also change it to line chart so you just play with the settings there you tweak it to the way to the way you want it and for the time frame you can see we, this is where we have the time frame at times when you open your when you open your um meta trader maybe maybe when, when you just finish it you might not see the, the time frame there what you need to just come on that view when you come on that view then you click on two bars so you can see we have standard line studies time frame so you have to make sure this thing is, uh, is checked if it's not checked you'll be able to see your time frame there time frame there then you can do other settings the way you want it and you want to place this this is where you place your trades on metatrader for the system version so you put your lot size here you type the lot size you want to use under this inside this particular box then you either click on sell or buy it depends depends on the type of um order you want to take for example if you have to take a buy order i will just put my lot, my lot size here. let me say i want to make use of um let me say i want to make use of one lot size or let's say 0 0.1 sorry let me mix of one lot size so let me say i want to sell so when you just, just click on sell button here so the moment you click you click on your sell button i don't know what's wrong with the network I mean, let me check the network I think okay, I think the lo the lot size is too is too small for that particular asset. I think the I think three is the lowest lot size. You click on sell. So can you see it? So I've placed the trade now. So the moment you place the trade on the system, you see an arrow mean with in the, it will indicate it here that you enter the position over here. So let I want the line to move away from so I can see what I'm actually saying. So you can see this part, this point, this arrow here is telling that I place the sell trade. You can see the arrow is pointing down. So it's, still, it's telling you that I place the sell trade here. So if you want, if you want to adjust your stop loss, you want to set your stop loss or take profit on the system, it's very very easy. So for example, if you place the sell trade, you know your stop loss will be what will be uh, um, above. For example, I entered for a sell trade. Now if I'm to sell my stop loss now, what I'll just I'll put my cursor on this particular line here the line i i that is showing the entry line so this is the entry line i'll just drag it up here so you can see the entry line here. what you, what you need to you see you see you see drag to modify you just drag it up so this is my stop loss 
So the stop loss for the sell for the sell position, the stop loss will be at the top, where the take profit will be. Below. So you want to tell you, you want to set your take profit loss. It's very very easy. So you just drag it down. So this will be my this will be my take profit. But if if it is the if it is the if it, for example it is buy trade I placed, so you know it will be it will be the reverse of this. Then the take profit will be at the top, while the stop loss will be below. So you can easily set your stop loss and your take profit on the system instead of you putting figures. So you can just easily drag the entry line, that is the entry position, the pay, the particular point you enter. Just drag that line. So another position where you want to put your stop loss or take profit. So you can see if you want to monitor your trade. So you can either use Ctrl T. So you might, you might press Ctrl T. It will show you this menu below here. So under this menu, you can see we have many tabs there. We have the trade bar, we have the exposure, we have the history. So it's under the trade bar you can you'll be able to make, monitor your trade. You can see this is this is the position I open now. So I, op I open the position. I open just one position. You can see my take profit here, my stop, my stop loss, and my take profit here. You can see that I'm currently in profit here. So and you can see the volume here. So this is how you monitor. This is how you monitor your trade on PC. So you can see the equity. This is the balance over here. This is the equity, and this is your margin, and this is your free margin. So it's very easier on laptops than on phone I and mean, the, the advantage of using laptop to trade is that you'll be able to see the market clearly your analysis will be perfect so this, are, this is one of the advantage that you see that you that you get when trading with laptops or on or, 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 over trading with phone so this this is just the basic things you need to know about the about setting up your metatrader 5 on your pc so these are the basic things if, there is any, if you need anything on the on this video or if there's any question please just put a comment on the comment section and um, please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos and also uh, i purposely kept this uh, at the end of this video so if you watch the video to, to the end i congratulate you because i'll be dropping a link for my free signal and analysis for all particular for all this kind of trade maybe be it um uh, synthetic indices or um, currency peers or index so I'll, i analyze on crypto i analyze markets and i'll be posting signals on my free on my telegram channel which i will drop in this uh, in the description of this video thank you